go. I should probably tell you what's going on. What's up, everybody? Syntax 77 on? here. No Got my lovely wife Sarah with me. Hey, hey, hey. Ashley and Frank already in the vehicle. Vehicle being a motorhome. Just landed in Stockholm. We're about a half eh, half hour outside of the city right now. Took a red eye from New York. We got five days. We're just gonna play it by ear. Like I said, we're in Sweden right now, but I think we're heading towards Norway. We'll see what happens. Manual transmission, <laughs> diesel fuel. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> You're good. This is gonna go bad. No. It's got a little heft to it. What's going on back there? Hi. Oh, you're just having some morning coffee? I need some coffee on my team. Or I guess it's lunchtime, right? Does anybody have like directions or an idea of what we're doing? No. All right, perfect. We do need groceries at some point. Let's, uh, we'll start with that. ICA supermarket. I heard of those. I think it was ICA. ICA. Yeah, yeah it looked pretty nice. Yep. Yeah. That's a ride. Does it feel all right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. What the hell do I know about? <laughs> It feels good from over here. Holy, holy. <laughs> You're ready to go. Cheese for the whole trip. We got a refrigerator, you might as well. Bread, bread for sandwiches. Looks like a winner. Spaghetti time. Yeah, full kilo. This is our aisle, Frank. Grill Corv. Yeah, that's beef. Yep. Good. I think that's us. Is that a good cart full? Is that enough? Do we have enough? I think we're good for a while. Tacos, tacos. Alright. Check out time. It's a little bit of a bill right there. A little bit of food. 1100 Swedish krona, which is probably a hundred ish dollars or something like that. I should mention it is mid-October right now and I think we're really kind of nailing it with the colors. All right, we're officially on the road on E18, headed in general towards Oslo, Norway that is. The sun is down, but I think we're going to take a little pit stop because we saw something cool out the window here. pretty much made it to the Norwegian border and my wife Sarah really loves a good passport stamp but I did kind of have to break it to her I'm not sure that anything's really gonna happen here Sweden and Norway are part of something called the Schengen area which is a visa-free kind of collaboration of 26 countries in the EU so while there are traditional passport controls to get into the Schengen area in our case we went through Stockholm Sweden we showed our papers there but once you're in pretty much just kind of roll through. Now you can see there is a little checkpoint station here. We're just gonna stay in the nothing to declare line and um, I don't see anybody standing out. I mean, it is a possibility. Somebody could always ask to talk to you, but doesn't seem to be anybody here. Anticlimactic, but here we are. Is there even a sign that's like welcome in Norway? Nope. No? Nope. <laughs> All right, little update. We drove what, like three, four kilometers? Customs car pulled in front of us, but they pretty much just kind of walked in and looked around. It took about five minutes and we we're back on the road. There you go. And they didn't know how we could get a stamp yet. Uh, no, sorry. Right. Maybe next time. We'll find a stamp. We do need to decide on dinner next, though. Nice Monday night. Oslo is looking not exactly jumping, but caught calm. I don't mind that. As long as there's no low clearance issues, I'm comfortable so far. Oh, there's where we're going, right there. Riksfetch 162. Right blue. Turn left onto Wismergata, then turn right onto Dronning Euphemia's Gate. All right, here we are. Here we are. Night on the town in Oslo. Mm -hmm. Made it by 11.30. Bars open till 12.30, so we're just going to grab a drink and get a little view of the city. Just to say we did it, and because we can. Found a uh, spot to stash the RV over there in a parking garage that actually didn't rip the roof off, so we're good to go for like an hour or so. Guess we're hitting the elevator going all the way up top, huh? Look at them, look at them buns. 
<laughs> Parking lot dogs. Parking lot dogs. And you're in your hot dog shirt. Here's Ashley's. And we can make sure it's, it's gone. It's <laughs> like. It was good though. Good though. Good though. Well, the morning is here and we are quickly on the road. Set the alarm for about 7 a.m. It's a little after 7.30 now. Frank and I are rolling. Um, we put the, Sarah and I slept on the bed right behind us here, which kind of drops down right behind the driving compartment. Just pop that up and uh, Sarah went in the back and the girls are continuing to snooze, although I think we're gonna wake them up at some point because it's starting to look pretty awesome around here. The um, Fall foliage is just really, really cool with all the oranges and whatnot. But we just drove, I don't know what, like an hour outside the city last night. Parked it up at like a rest stop with like some other truckers and stuff. We're just cruising right now towards, we're not actually going to Bergen, but we're going kind of in that general direction of the fjords in the, the southern part of Norway, basically all the way to the west coast until you hit the, uh, until you hit the water. It's kind of our plan. We'll just keep on rolling and see what happens. Good stuff. You alive back there? Mm -hmm. Might want to see this. I don't know. <laughs> Look at her little, you can tell she was looking out earlier though because there's little white, little hand white prints from my wife there. <laughs> uh, so that's the sleeping compartment back there where Frank and Ashley stayed and where uh, <laughs> Ashley and Sarah are currently residing. But this is nice. Ah, a little morning fog and mist. Pretty cool. About 8.30 now. And uh, it's pretty much the name of the game. We just drive along and randomly stop whenever we want. Look at cool stuff and keep moving. Not sure exactly what we have here. But it looks quite old. Pretty cool. It's got this old cemetery around it too. We just saw this on the side of the road and pulled over. Smells like barbecue. It smells like barbecue. It is weird. It's all just like the wood is all just like charred, obviously, and you can smell it. A little breakfast going on back there. Yeah. What? Uh, they didn't have bagels at the store. Right? So what are these? Bread <laughs> with but, some cream cheese. Okay. But I mean like they're almost like a roll. It yeah. looks like a big scone, but it's the consistency. Oh, that, of bread. I like yours better. That sounds fancy. We're right. doing scones and cream cheese this morning. That's it's not hamburger cheese. buns, is it? No, I think not. It's no. pretty close. It's okay. a little windy around these parts. And neutral. <laughs> Right. Look at the power lines. Yeah, that's <laughs> the power lines that I was just looking down at from up there. It's a little steep. So we're headed towards uh, Least Fjord. Is the fjord we're headed towards in western Norway? I think this is the windy road. We're still a couple miles. Just a couple miles. We're still a couple hours away, but uh, it's a heck of a drive so far. That's for sure. Let's pray the brakes don't go out. Pretty well color cord oh different purples. <laughs> All of it. It works. Let's check oh. this out. Yep. I'm gonna cry. Huh? I'm gonna cry. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. It is nice. And uh we got the waterfall over here. It's pretty cool. Thank you. 
we spotted a cave underneath of this bridge. It's a little creepy. Flashlight. How deep do you think it goes? Uh -huh. Probably to the other side of that rock. Slippery wind, wet. I guess those would just open up and let out water then? I guess so. Uh -huh. You want to take a dip, Ashley? Just like Blue Lagoon in Iceland. I hope they give some sort of like warning before they open it. <laughs> Uh -huh. Like if the door rings three times, a bell or something. <laughs> Some sort of like warning yeah. system. Like, uh, uh, before the floodgates open. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, Mr. Saul. over here oh, little photo op or what this is pretty good we're only 15 kilometers away from where I think we're gonna kind of call home base tonight roughly we're gonna stay by a town called Lee's Bogan I'm probably mispronouncing that but something like that we got Adirac too For those of you who think we should have followed Leave No Trace by not adding to that cairn back there, I think I think we're strongly outnumbered. What is going on around here? This is like a kilometer up the road, and there's just a sea of cairns. There's so many. <laughs> are darkening we've pretty much lucked out we had a little rain going on Oslo last night but the forecast was for a lot more rain than we've been getting so I'm not complaining but there's definitely some clouds rolling in Check this out. Yeah. It'd be like a little preview yeah. sure. for tomorrow. Can't stay here tonight, so we'll respect that. We're gonna stay somewhere around here, but we'll come back in the morning and um, check it out then. But for now, let's get a little, little preview action. See what we're working with. We'll probably go, I guess we're gonna go down that and find well, somewhere to camp. that's one we don't wanna do, right? There was one that was like super bendy, right? Kinda gotta go down. There's nowhere to go back up. No. about you but I'm thinking this kind of looks like a pretty decent campsite to me it's not an official campsite by any means we just pulled over somewhere discreet got the uh, camper van set up We're gonna have some chips and dip a little snacks like I said a little taco night tonight and uh, we'll hit the hay the plan is we're not that far away from where we just were to start that hike tomorrow so we'll wake up early in the morning get a pretty early start we'll go up and we'll do that hike we even have a waterfall right behind us, which is pretty cool. And we're just gonna enjoy ourselves. Have a little dinner, get a little shut eye, soak it all in. So far, everybody's getting through this way better than Brennan. But it has that like, mm -hmm. nail polish. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. How's it going, Sarah? It's going. You ready to do outdoor stuff? You like hearing that rain on the roof this morning, like five minutes after the alarm went off? Mm -hmm. While I was sleeping, I like The rain has stopped. It's just a little foggy. Check out the surfer van that showed up. Kind of cool. So not a bad little spot. It's about halfway up that crazy windy road to what we call Keurig, like the coffee maker. I forget the actual pronunciation. Well, we got four and a half kilometers. So Carrick Bolton is the actual rock that's stuck in between the two. Definitely a little misty. A little slippery, although luckily the rocks, these rocks aren't terrible. It seems, so far. They got a little grip to them. Hopefully it kind of stays like that, we'll see. Good way to wake up in the morning. It is uh, about a six hour round trip, on average is what they tell you. So we'll see, it's about 9.45 right now. That'll put us back at the vehicle a pretty decent time. Now our friend down at the parking lot did tell us that the chains came down yesterday because they're closing this for the season. The roads you can't even use, uh, not too long from now, they close in October. So this is the last day of hiking here. But you can see these metal poles here. Those would be where the chains would run between, I assume. They left one section of the chain up for us to know what we're missing, I guess. The first time I slipped is when I actually had a chain. <laughs> it's ironic. Definitely getting slipperier as we go. It's going from a mist to more of a rain, but we're making it. There are still chains up in a lot of these sections, it seems, as we go. Not all, they're just kind of partially down. I guess they're halfway through breaking the chains down. Or I'm not sure if they leave some of these up all year or what the deal is, but we'll just take it slow. Got it. I should just not use the chain, ah, because it moves so much. When you put weight on the chain, it moves. They're not fully hooked up, so they're like a little unpredictable. Go back to not using the chain. <laughs> it does appear to be some sort of building up there. Maybe they serve hot coffee. Probably not. Oh, look at you. Emergency oh, camera. Do you hear that? <laughs> Are you lost? No. We'll save you. We'll be right there. That's our new friend down there. This uh, says it's an emergency shelter, uh, open for emergency only. So I was kind of thinking it might be that. If there's bad weather around here and you get pinned down and it's pretty bad, apparently you can go in this right here. Or maybe if you find a sheep that's in distress, you could open the door for him. I think you're allowed to do that. You want the emergency shelter? I think that's a yes. Yeah. Just kind of taking it slow and <laughs> safe. Sarah took a spill as well. She actually took a tumble before I did. But luckily in her case, the chain actually saved her from falling further.
We made it. A little sandwich action. Huh? We'll get refueled. Where are we going next, sir? Creek stolen. To see? Pulpit rock. All right. It's another hike. Like a walk on the beach. That's <laughs> what they tell me. Compared to this. At the roundabout, take the second exit. We're starting to get back into civilization. We actually got some roundabouts. Pick up some gas, or diesel, I should say. Continue on our way. Joker. Do they have diesel? Oh, I hope they have diesel. Turn right, then you will arrive at your Is this diesel over here, maybe? They got electric chargers. Yeah, we've been seeing a lot of Teslas. This is diesel. Okay. All right. Do we need this? Oh, yeah. And this has to stay in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It won't come out. Oh, sweet. All right. Swipe it and fill it up. 1236 per liter. Might as well refill some of the water while we're here. Or take that chair. And you're, you're not in driver's mode. And there's a good reason for that. Because this is our first dinner. We're having spaghetti later, but this will get us there. We got about a two hour drive, maybe an hour and a half more in that front of us to get to Preek Stolen, which by the way, proper pronunciation, we've been saying it all wrong. No, for the other place we just came from. Keurig. 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 The KJ is apparently an SH type sound for us Americanos. But let's have one of these delicious hot dogs and see how they compare to Iceland. They look bigger. We don't want no crushing onions though. Sesame seed bun. Chives on there or green onions? I'm pretty good. Wow. Working? Mm hmm, that's pretty damn good. It was a chive and green onion. this was going to be tonight but it seems to be we're going to be taking our first ferry in Norway and uh, we got to go pay for that let's hope it's not 20 million dollars how long from here to, to where wherever we're going <laughs> yeah it's uh, about to eight minutes oh, oh wow okay cool. thank you <laughs> oh pasta party yeah okay. open up that sauce balls all right we're gonna give it a stir they're from Sweden Yes, Sweden. all our food's from Sweden, right? As far as groceries go. If we can uh, fit all this pasta into the pot, we'll be good. We got meatballs and Parmesan and all that good stuff. Ashley, how do you say pasta in Norwegian? Pasta. Got me. Frank got it. What? Pasta? pasta? What did he say? I studied before I came. Smart, Frank. Thank you, Frank. Around. <laughs> Somebody had to do some work and study for this. <laughs> Frank did. Good job. So here we are, beginning of another brand new day. It was uh, raining a bit. We were gonna get up early today, but we slept in. It's about 9.30, because it's been raining, and we, like I said, we slept in. We're actually at this little campsite here. Only cost a few bucks a person. Uh, we got here last night, nobody was here. We just parked right here, woke up this morning, got some cups of coffee, paid for the camp spot. And the nice thing about this is, we're about five kilometers away from Creek Stolen, or Pulpit Rock, we're gonna check that out next. And also, we were able to fill up the water tank and uh, dispose of any other uh, water that we might need to get rid of while we're here, since it is a campsite. So that's pretty nice. Hopefully the rain holds off, but I have a feeling uh, we're gonna get rained on again today. That's all right, we're gonna get on the road, start another day of adventure in Norway. Too. Right here. <laughs> okay. And yesterday we were. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. We took the ferry here. Right. Last night. Cool. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> what are these people saying, Sarah? I'm not quite sure. It looks like she's kicking people off. And that's the cliff over there. All right. And then those people are falling off the. Whoa. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Well, that's. 
Interesting. Scary. Mm. Ooh, it's steep to start, but at least it's not slippery. Still water. Right. Quick start, two point five. We're getting the elevation now. A little stair workout. Our favorite. Love some good rock stairs in the morning. Pretty awesome waterfall there, or flume, or whatever you want to call it. Awesome. It's loud too. It's almost like Gunther's. Hot dogs in Sweden? Yeah, we do have to get back to Sweden at some point. I'm trying not to think of that though. Sky's getting a little dark. So <laughs> Over there. Not so much over here. But I think we got one kilometer left and we should be at Pulpit Rock. Making some new friends there, Sarah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you named them yet? Um, I think this one's Tony. Right. Okay. And this one's Penelope. Oh, Tony and Penelope. Very cool. As you can see, we are back at that campsite. We're not actually going to stay here tonight. We're just we just came back here because it's on the way out back towards the uh, Stockholm area, and we can fill up our water. We're probably going to take some showers and have some lunch, relax a little bit, and then we're going to get on the road. Do a bit of a mega road trip back towards Stockholm. Hey, what's up, like mama? <laughs> Ready for lunch? Yeah, I think I'll wash my hands now. This is Frank's idea. This is brilliant. A little uh, grilled turkey and cheese action with mayonnaise, which I think makes it European, just to put mayonnaise all over everything. <laughs> it sounds good to me. And then we'll have some soup because we only ate like one of our little bagel creations this morning and then. We uh we did a good amount of work doing our hike today, so we to replace the little calories with some soba noodles. Fun stuff. And we'll take some showers and hang out a little bit. Yeah. It's nice and toasty in here. Alright. Better sweet. You are packing. No. Got 24 hours before we leave, but Not you are packing. 
Might as well show a little tour. I don't think we showed the back here. But this is the back, so it can be either two separate twins or where Sarah's sitting, it pulls out and it turns into a solid queen. And our bathroom is there with our cabinetries, toilet. We had a shower over here, which there's actually a wooden floor over top of it, but that pops out of the way. And then there's the uh, drain and the kind of shower bottom floor pan below that. Sink over here. Or a sink right there cooktop underneath just like that so you get some counter space fridge and freezer and that runs on either <laughs> that runs on either battery or propane or you can just put it on automatic and it'll figure it out so that's nice it's been uh, staying pretty cold it took like a little while to warm up when we first got the van but it's been good and that's our living quarters right there where, where we eat spaghetti yeah, the bed pops down. That's where Sarah and I have been staying. Pull that over. She slides down along with the cabinets. That's our bed. We've actually been able to keep our linens in there. Here's some clothing of yours. Okay. <laughs> Pack that. And uh, that's that. But I'm going to close this vent. We've been leaving the vent open each night with the heat on. It's been a pretty nice combo. Done. It was not graceful. Yeah, I feel like there's probably supposed to be a ladder for this, but we haven't been doing that. And then you can see the seats flip around in the front there. Ashley's in lounge mode. We're pretty much packed up and secure. We're going to get on the road and head back towards Stockholm. Stockholm. Full? Oh, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Done. This so cute. It really is a great campsite. Do we check in again or are we good? No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. We made it to the last day. It's morning now, somehow. A little bit of a trek. It was about a 12 and a half hour drive without stops to get back from the fjord area to Stockholm, which we are back in now. And I know usually on these hikes, or I should say on these videos, hiking videos at least, I end with a cheeseburger, but I figured eh, it might be a little bit of a special occasion. So since we're here in Stockholm, we're gonna go. Your destination will be on the right. There it is, uh, it's gonna be on our right. It's called Gunter's. It's a little hot dog hut. We're gonna check it out. Have some hot dogs. And um, after that, clean up the van one more time, pack up our stuff, and just head back and drop off the RV. Not a van, motorhome. It's been good to us. Bertha, you've been good. But uh, it's time to turn you back in. But first, let's eat.
Cheers, All right, well, nothing like a great meal to end a great trip. We walked around Stockholm for a little bit. Great hot dogs, in my opinion. I don't think Gunter appreciated us tourists quite as much as we appreciated his food, but that's okay. Those were good hot dogs. Almost like a hot dog on garlic bread with a ton of toppings. Uh, it's pretty fun. But right now, we're just gonna head back. We're gonna drop this off. We got about 40 minutes to get it back. We're gonna clean it up a little bit more. And that'll pretty much wrap up this chapter. So yeah, until next time, I'm Syntax77. And right now, it's hot dog time.